Hi, Ashley here. Over the next four weeks, I will be exploring worldly flavors, reworking some of my favorite dishes from across the globe, keeping them healthy and free from refined sugar, gluten, and dairy. Today, this is one of my favorite Italian dishes originating from Naples, a classic dish that's so easy to make, but undeniably full of flavor. So let's get started. Okay, so for this uh, tasty Italian dish, you only need a few ingredients. You need some chili peppers, but a parmigiano optional if you want. Um, I always like a little grated um, at the finish. Some chopped garlic, olive oil, and gluten-free pasta, which is already done for me, and I, this is based on two people. So I'm doing the fusilli gluten-free, but you can use spaghetti, penne, tagatelli, whatever it is, but try and make it gluten-free. So with these little ones, you just kind of separate them. They don't need to look perfect. Now, depending on your spice factor, add less or more depending how hot you want. And I like it hot. Stove. Join me over there. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna, there's no really measurement through olive oil, just, I, just free pour. I know it looks oily, but this is what the, the sauce is. You know, it's a basic good olive oil, a good garlic, and optional nice parmigiano. So let that heat for a couple seconds. Then you're gonna add the chilies. Sea salt and black pepper, my favorite garlic. Definitely can't live without this stuff. So I'm gonna a teaspoon. I know it's make sure you're you're not going on a date this night. You kill a vampire. Okay, so just there we go. But literally, I mean this is taking two minutes. So the pasta is done. I'm going to add your pasta to the frying pan. So at this point, you, just turn, you need to turn the stove off because then it will completely disintegrate the oil. So just for, I don't know, 30, 60 seconds, again, just heat it lightly. And then while that's going on, I'm going to just a little bit of the parmigiano. If you want, save a couple of chili peppers to garnish with some extra spice. This pasta dish is so easy to make, you have a tasty meal made in minutes, and it's unreliably full of flavor. See you soon, and stay tuned for next week's segment on A Taste of Brazil. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe.